And a good spiritual morning to you once again. I'm Father Cosmas. Thank you for joining me from my prayer corner here at home for a morning cup of coffee and a quick chat for today. And I thought for today we would talk a little bit about some of the challenges that we're facing from a spiritual point of view in coming back to church and in seeing the churches open. We talked yesterday about the different process uh, processes of, of how our churches are opening and the levels and different things and restrictions and guidelines. Uh, and unfortunately, what this does is it creates a whole sort of atmosphere of temptation um, because there's this built-in sort of temptation to look and see what everyone around us is doing. And that's usually not a good idea in the Christian life. Christians should sort of look at themselves, focus on themselves, focus on their relationship with Christ, and not judge other people. And we focus on other people to help other people, of course, but not to sort of look left and right and see what they're doing to try to make comparisons because then we fall into some sort of a trap of judgment. And people are doing that all the time. I'm getting phone calls and emails uh, all the time, and I have been through this whole process. Father, I see this church is doing this. How come we aren't doing that? Or I see that we're doing this. How come the other church isn't doing that? Uh, and I try to tell people, you know what? That's not the purpose of live streaming the services so that you can see what churches are doing what and try to make comparisons and judge, uh, pass judgment on other churches or other priests or your priest and your church. Or That's really not the point. We're live streaming the services to help us worship and to help us stay connected um, with our faith in Christ. And so the same thing now that we're opening the churches, people are looking and saying, wow, let's Let's look and see, you know, this church is open, this church is not, this church is doing it this way. This church is inviting people and doing reservations this way. You know, how come we're not doing it the same? Well, every community is different, and we have to understand that everybody has, you know, different abilities and capabilities. You know, a community of a thousand families is going to do something differently than a community of a hundred families. And uh, sometimes the personality and the ability of the community dictates uh, what works for them. And we shouldn't judge that. We should be okay with saying there's some blessing and there being a little bit of a variety and a little bit of a difference. And uh, not to judge. And especially when it comes to personal things. There's going to be now this atmosphere of, of sort of a built-in judgment, even more so. I think we always have that in church. We're standing in church or sitting in church and we're constantly looking left and, and right. You know, what, what, is, what is he saying? What is she doing? What are they doing? I can't believe they're doing this. And, and now there's going to be that sort of built-in um, sense of judgment in other respects. You know, who is kissing icons, not kissing icons? Who is receiving communion and not receiving communion? We shouldn't be sort of judging other people for what they're doing in their faith as opposed to what we feel comfortable doing in our faith. And that's why I've said before many times, we don't do theology in a vacuum. It affects people, and people are different. They're at different levels spiritually. And we have to allow for some accommodation of that, because the idea is that we don't set general restrictions that preclude everybody or the vast majority of people from salvation. Um, then the church becomes pointless at that point, to put in rules and restrictions which apply to 5%, and eliminate 95%. We're trying to work with the vast majority of people with where they are at spiritually to bring them along in their relationship with Christ. And that takes on all of our part some understanding, some patience, um, and the ability to not judge others. And so I just wanted to put that out there because the churches are going to start opening. And before you know it, we're going to go through level two. We're going to get to level three. We're going to allow for 100 people to come back to church, and it's going to be a little bit different when we're in church, and we're spaced out six feet in every direction, and we're going to have this mentality of seeing people wearing surgical masks in the church. You're going to see the priest, when he's giving communion, he's supposed to wear a mask when he's coming in to close contact with people. It's going to be very different, and we should remember to be patient, to be compassionate, to focus on ourselves on our relationship with Christ, and not look left or right to judge those who are around us. Once again, may our Lord and Savior bless us and keep us this day and every day. Amen.